Good morning, folks. Follow up to the big story a few weeks ago. We knew when we broke the record that the melting season was not over yet. Well, it pretty much is over now, and the links are below for the full wrap up. Along that line, retreating Himalayan glaciers. Good article here. This might not look bad now, but it used to hold back a lot of water. We're lucky there wasn't more devastation with this. This comparison shot looks like last year's Mississippi flood comparison images, but this is from Nigeria and it's right now. You may have heard Isaac turned around the Mississippi River. Here's the official word on that. Mother Nature temporarily installed a lazy river at UNLV. On to earth movers, the Indian Ocean took a couple five pointers yesterday, larger than average for the Eastern Caribbean here, and we had a volcano eruption in Japan. Looking at tropical storms, you see Sanba in that same western pacific location. Folks, level 4 typhoons are horrible, and this is the second level 5 super typhoon to come right through this area in the last month. 278 kilometers per hour wind is about 170 miles per hour. While these may look like tiny little forget about them islands, pulling up the population density reveals a true hazard to human life there. There it is, fully developed. Solar wind, orange. Yellow and green are the density, speed, and temperature. They look like they took a minor beating last night and into the morning. The culprit may get away with this one. Could be the filament eruption. Maybe the coronal particles expelled by the diving filament when Mercury conjoined the sun. Or maybe it's these coronal holes from three days ago. Any of those could be the cause. Luckily, geomagnetic instability remained low. Looking forward. Noah got it half right today. These absolutely are two separate regions, thank you, but they are labeled beta class and the leading region on the right should be beta gamma. See the intermixing complexity of positive and negative there? The Earth footprint is still on the opposite side of the sun, turning to the backside with 11564. We still have that backside flare danger, but there is one little connection point branching off to the left. We could be seeing Earth's connection getting ready to leave this area. Last 24 hours of the sun, you can see the bright active regions and the dark coronal holes. Some of those holes turning in are going to be big ones. At the end of this clip, you'll see a brief eclipse of the satellite, and it's terrible timing. In between these bright areas, you'll see a thin dark line of matter. That plasma filament begins to lift up just in time to be blocked by the eclipse, and it's gone. Before and after here, luckily it was a small filament. Got a new moon on the way. In the US, this is actually on the night of the 15th, around 10 p.m. Eastern Time. In between now and then, keeping an eye on Mercury lined up with the Sun, after a tilt and zoom out, we see a heliocentric opposition with Uranus. Let's keep watch on our newly recognized double active region and the surrounding coronal holes. Eyes open, folks. That's the news. Be safe.